Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on how to use cursors and result set in SQL scripting. If you have not gone through my recent SQL scripting series and blog, uh, blog, then I would suggest you to please go through them once because I have captured lots of detail over there. Let's start with the demo. So let me open my uh, Snowflake uh, web UI. Today in this example, uh, as usual, I am going to use my existing database, which I have created in the initial phase of uh, demo. So I'm going to use the same. Today, I'm going to show you how you can declare, uh, means like how you can declare a cursor using a result set. So there are two ways uh, in which you can declare a, a cursor. In simple way, you can just declare, say cursor, cursor for, and then select statement. Another way is you can, uh, create means like you can declare a result set and in the result set default value you can put the SQL statement so this is how you can see that over here I have declared a result set variable r1 I make the data type as result set and then on the default under the bracket I have put provided the query so what is the difference between uh, declaring in this way rather than in a normal way when we use the cursor c1 for and then select statement so the difference is when you declare cursor c1 for for and then select statement it is not pre-compiled like it, it will not it will not be pre-compiled but when you declare as a result set and put the select statement you don't need to open the cursor so here you don't need to open if you are using the open command like if you are using the loop uh, for condition for a uh, sorry uh, open uh, cursor you don't need to open because data is already available in the result set while when you are declaring with the cursor it is not that the case so here i am i have declared this and i am going to use the for loop because i am going to use this result set in a cursor so i have declared a result set and then i have you declared a cursor and i am using the same result set and then i am using the for loop and i am just putting down one of the variable value into the uh, one of the cursor value into the variable and then i am checking if the cursor value match to one of the like uh, static value say just a example then just return the list so in my case i am just uh, looping around the information schema and dot schema term and that's a data dictionary which will list out all the schema in a particular database so when when i'm executing in my current database there are only two schema that is one is public one is an information schema and I'm checking whether if it's match with the public just return out uh, of this loop. So let me execute this. Let me see if it works or not. So you see that it always loop out at public. But say if I comment this part over here. Let's see it is returning here or not. So rather than here, I just don't want to. Leave. I'm just copying this putting this outside and i'm just going to comment this part so now let's see what will be the output it can be public can be other value so you can see that because i have not exiting so whatever is the last value is being printed on this variable so that's how you can use the result set as well as you can use the cursor so in in the same example i have showed you how you can declare the cursor as well as you can how can you even declare the result set similarly if you want to return the value like if you have a requirement here i have using the nms block but if you can you can also declare a procedure and if you want to return the value of a table at the end you can use the return table keyword so here is like even I have mixed two example and here you can see that I am returning the value of the query select statement and I'm using the result set for that. So he, this is a very good example which I was explaining over here that you don't need to execute the query because once you use the result set with the default value, the data is already pre-populated at this stage, which is not a condition with the cursor. So here you can see that I have just declared the result set with the default value. And in the begin block with uh, means I have not used any cursor or anything. I'm just returning the value of the table with the result set value. And it is going to return me the data of this select statement. So it will populate me all the schema name in a table form. 
so you can see so here i was uh, just uh, executing and uh, the, this uh, result set and without uh, opening the cursor or using the cursor or any loop or anything i'm just returning the table and it is giving me a nice output table output with the use of result set and the return table so this is the way where you can use in sql scripting and return the table output if you want at the end of your procedure call or nms block or whatever is your requirement and another example i want to show you like these are the static query but there is always a, a requirement where you have to use the dynamic sql and in case of dynamic sql it can be fully dynamic sql or it can be parameterized so if you are writing a procedure where you want to parameterize the query and based on the input of value of the procedure you are passing that through the cursor and then you want to use that value to derive to the result so if that is which is a very basic uh, requirement of the cursor we generally use uh, in the past so similar thing how you can use that bind variable over here so this is very nice example where you can declare a cursor and in the cursor you are just declaring all the select statement whatever is your requirement whatever is your select statement and at the end i am just putting the question mark over here and while i have also declared these two variable with a static value but this can be one uh, one of the means like it, this can be your parameter in the procedure but since i am not using procedure so i am just i have just declared a two variable and a static variable where i am just defaulting the value with one and five and i am passing this variable in the bind variable using the open cursor so I, here i am using open cursor using uh, keyword and this is the way you can pass the value of the parameter in the cursor so here i am using passing all the v from and v2 and then i am returning the table so here i am passing 1 to 5 so i am expecting there should be 5 rows in the output so if i execute this you will see that i got the 5 output but if i change this to 10 say say 10 now it should return me 10 rows see here between 1 to 10 so it should be 10 why it is returning 8 might be i have only 8 schema that's the reason let me change it to uh, something like 3 that should be 3 only yes so i think there are only 8 schema that's the reason it came 8 but whatever is your parameter so the uh, gist of the example is like this is how you can use a bind variable in cursor and you can do whatever you, you want and at the end you can return the table or you can return whatever you want and the last example is like how you can use the um, like uh, open fetch cursor which is also one of the method uh, basically when you are using the cursor so you can use the open and then fetch and then close the cursor generally we uh, we don't use this but uh, in certain scenario it also fits like you want to use something like this so this is one of the example where I'm using the same default, uh, like same way. I'm just using the bind variable, but here I'm using the fetch keyword to fetch the value of the cursor into a result set, into a variable. So here I'm just trying to fetch the comment uh, section of that particular uh, schema name. And then I'm just printing that as a return value. So I'm using open C1 using a schema name, which is a bind variable. And this bind variable will insert the value over here and then execute this select statement and then whatever value of the comment is there it will become based on this fetch c1 into v comment so the single value will come over here and then i'm just closing the c1 just for this uh, we have to make sure that it's it's a single value or the number of the column in the select statement should match with the number of into keyword so if you have multiple columns in the select statement it should be multiple variable or in the fetch c1 and then it will print the comment of that particular column so this is another way you can use the cursor so here you can see that this it has provided me the comment uh, comment value of the uh, this uh, metadata tables so these are the very small and ba basic example which uh, hopefully have give you the uh, feeling of how you can use the cursor in different varieties and the result set in different varieties how to use the result set how you can return the table and normally how you can use a cursor in a normal way as well 
hope you have liked the demo and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel thank you